hello friend in this video you will learn that how to make this kind of pillar in easy way so let's start this tutorial press shift a under mesh select cylinder now expand this add cylinder option and under this cap fill tab select here nothing change what is the value that is 16 now switch to edit mode then press s then g to scale on g axis turn on edge selection mode now click on this edge now holding shift click on this next one edge to select alternative edge now press shift ctrl plus to increase it now press s then press shift z and scale like this now press ctrl b for edge bevel now press ctrl r for loop cuts now click on this modifier properties then click on this add modifier and select here solidify modifier under this mode select here complex change offset value that is zero increase thickness something like this you can see from here now switch to object mode then click on this arrow click on this apply now switch to edit mode turn on this face selection mode double click on this face to select all the faces now press x and delete this passage now double click on this edge to select entire loop holding shift click on this face holding shift click on this face now we have selection like this right click and select here extrude face along normal now select these faces like this now right click and select here extrude face along normal now press s to scale like this turn on this vertex selection mode press shift z like this now select upper vertices like this then press shift s and select cursor to selection now press shift a under this empty select plane axis select this mesh then click on this add modifier select here mirror modifier select here g axis and select this x axis under this mirror object select here empty now switch to edit mode then select this vertex like this then press G then G to grab on G axis increase this merge value now click on this add modifier and select here subdivide surface now increase this viewport level right click and select here set as mode switch to edit mode now press ctrl r give loop cuts like this now press ctrl r give loop cuts like this also we have to give loop cuts here so press ctrl r give loop cuts like this now press ctrl b for edge bevel 
like this. Now we have to make its base. Press Shift A, under Mesh, select Plane. Now move it on G axis. Now switch to Edit Mode. Press S to scale it. Now press X and select here only faces. Press A to select all the vertices. Then right click select here subdivide. Increase number of cut till 5. Now press Shift D to duplicate. Now press G to move on G axis. Again press Shift D. Then press G to duplicate on Z axis. Right click under this loop tools. Select here circle. Now press S to scale like this. Duplicate this circle by pressing Shift D and move on G axis like this. Now press A to select all the vertices. Then click on this edge. Select here bridge edge loops. Now double click on this topper vertices like this. Now press F to fill. Again double click on this bottom vertices. Press F to fill. Now click on this add modifier. Select here bevel modifier. Increase segments value. Then click on this add modifier subdivision surface. Increase its value. Right click select here set as smooth. Now click on this object data properties. Expand this normals option. Select here auto smooth. Now click on this add properties. Expand this setting option from bevel modifier and turn on this harden normals. And hide this like this. Now again click on this add modifier properties. Select here mirror modifier. Select here G axis and select here X axis under mirror object. Select here empty. Now press shift A under mesh. Select here circle. Press G then G to move on Z axis like this. Switch to edit mode. Now press R, then X, then 90 degree to rotate on X axis. Select this vertices. Holding Control, click on this vertices. Now press Control I for inverse selection. Then press X and delete here vertices. Now press A to select all the vertices. Now press S to scale like this. Now press Shift D to duplicate and move like this. Again press Shift D to duplicate and move like this. Now press Shift D to duplicate. Now press R then Y then press minus 180 degree. Now press G and move it like this. Select this vertices, then press M and select here at center. Repeat with all these broken vertices. Now select this vertices. Also select this vertices. 
now press E then X to extrude on X axis now press S then X then 0 to make it flat now press F to fill press A to select all the vertices now press G to move on X axis press A to select all the vertices now press G then X to move on X axis like this select this vertex like this now press G then X to move on X axis like this now press A to select all the vertices now press F to fill click on this add modifier select here solidify change offset value that is 0 and increase thickness value like this select this vertex like this now press shift s and select here cursor to selection now press shift a under this amortage select here plane axis now select this mesh click on this add modifier select here mirror modifier under this mirror object select here empty 0.001 now increase this merge option like this now click on this add modifier again select here bevel modifier increase this segments option now right click select here set as mode under this setting select here harden normal then click on this object data properties and turn on this auto smooth option now also mirror it so select this mesh click on this modifier properties then click on this add modifier select here mirror modifier under this object select here empty 0.01 also select this mirror it on x axis under this mirror object select here empty 001 now we have this nice structure Thanks for watching this video.